morning. So it's May 2nd, Tuesday, 2023. Started pouring rain out here in Rusty, Rhode Island. So I kind of changed over to maintenance and repairs. Trailer tire kept going low on me, breaking it down to clean the bead. Now what I do is I, uh, I go around once with the bar, break it a little bit, and then I pour the gasoline around the ring, let it set a few minutes, hit it three or four times, and they pop right off. <clears throat> this is the trailer wheel. I don't know if you remember. Uh, I cut the rim so I could use the six lug rims on the five lug. And this one is leaking around the bead, but also the valve stem is leaking. So I'm thinking uh, I got more of these tires. I'll probably just uh, make another one. I saved the template. This is the template of the uh, axle. And I basically just laid it on the wheel and I took a series of drills starting small and kept drilling it out. I think in the end I just cleaned up with the die grinder. And when I put it on I put washers and I put the lugs on backwards. And uh, what keeps it straight is the center hole anyway. So as long as the center hole fits tight around the hub, you're good. So on the, uh, on Mr. Good Golf here, just wanted to show you something. I'm going to show you normal speed and then reduce speed. So we'll start normal speed. Now I'm going to add in the ballast reserve here. slow thinking if I can find an old Rio stat uh, I used to get them out of the television sets the volume meter they were great rear stats because it, the ballast resistor drops it down to about 8 volts from 12 and it, one seems too fast and one seems too slow I think let me know what you guys think should it like wave fast like it is? Should it wave slow or somewhere in the middle like I think? And let me just tell you, if you agree with me, you're probably right. <laughs> so these are just some of the bolts that I took off the Impala. And I had them soaking in oil. And now I'm just going to take uh, and put them on some newspaper before I put them into the bolt bin. Those were the bumpers. I ended up... I know, I said I wasn't going to take the bumpers apart, but all them bolts just off the bumpers, and my bin is stuffed, man, with bolts and nuts. I know, I got to go searching every time I need one, but it's the way it is. A little lucky's inside. So uh, the front seat out of the Impala has now became Lucky's Lounge. I keep it covered up because I still plan on using that seat maybe, I don't know. Uh, rainy Rhode Island, you see what's going on. So Operation d horde kind of came to a halt. Although I did get all of the, uh, <coughs> you can see how far I made it across the trailer as far as cleaning. I still have to take the deck off. And then the metal frame underneath. I'm going to ask the guy up the road if he wants these axles. He's a friend of mine. He's the one that gave me that uh, two huge pieces of angle iron. Probably, I mean, if I bought those, they'd be hundreds of dollars. And he gave them to me for ten bucks. So, used, but hell, still good. Al from Rusty Road Island. <laughs>